And thank you for joining me this afternoon. I'm Eric Tolman. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very serious uh, weather situation that we have uh, going on. I don't really have the information uh, with me currently, and I will look that stuff up, and I'll have all the details on some other stuff later. Uh, but we just want to let you know uh, we do have uh, winter weather potential that is hitting the state of Michigan in the upper uh, the upper peninsula, northern Michigan, and it is going to cover all of Michigan. So basically, no matter how you look at it, um, we're going to be uh, affected by it regardless. So uh, that is pretty much what I have uh, right now. Um, I'm tracking everything. I'll have the GF, uh, the GFS models. I will have all of the coverage. I have it all. I have it all ready and ready to go. So I've got you covered. So there's probably going to be a lot of interruptions uh, today. So I will be giving you guys frequent updates when necessary. Uh, the the most thing that I'm concerned about. <coughs> at this time is the weather activity right now and all of these advisories and everything else that's going on. So uh, there's going to be a whole slew of different things that uh, we're going to be covering today. So a lot, a lot of stuff is going to happen. So hopefully for the ones that are not prepared for this uh, uh, winter snowstorm need to prepare now. Uh, as of right now, uh, I can tell you um, clearly, I, I can tell you clearly that Southeast Michigan, regardless what the situation is or not, uh, we need to prepare for this uh, storm. The winter potential storm is here in Michigan. It's not knocking on our door right now, but it will be. And as of tomorrow morning, it is going to be quite nasty. It will be a very tricky, nasty, dangerous situation that is going to immediately set up for Michigan. And that does cover all of the south, southeast Michigan region and our viewing area. So you might want to think ahead on how you're going to plan uh, your day. This is actually the, this would actually specifically be the time to go to the grocery stores or whatever you got to do and get the necessary things that you are going to need prior to the storm that is going to be happening. Uh, and I do expect the worst of the storm to come in tomorrow. As of tomorrow, morning and as far as the morning commute goes everything is going to be very very tricky i'll have everything that you need to know from left to right i have it all here um i'm on top of everything i have been tracking this whole situation from the moment that it started um and blossomed so it's going to be very interesting i'll be talking about the specifics i'll be talking about the GFS models, I'll be talking about ice accumulations, I'll be talking about a whole bunch of uh, things. Uh, so it's going to be a very excellent um, extended edition um, for uh, severe weather winter coverage. That is going to be a mess. We may not like what, what we see right now, but winter is usually very, very most uh very most thing that we have to pay attention to, especially with the travel, traveling and driving conditions. And just to also advise you that uh, traffic conditions as of right now, the way I see it, I am overseeing stuff, reviewing it and all of that. I am trying to plan for tomorrow. I'm going to be on for the next several hours, so it's going to be a bumpy ride. There's no activity going on right now for Southeast Michigan. Once this thing gets closer 
that's when everything is going to happen. I'm going to show you where all the advisories are, where the winter storm watches are, the winter weather advisories are, and et cetera. So I have all the information of what you need to know. So we've got everything under control from that, from this point on. So whenever I receive new information, I'm going to pass it on immediately to you. And also, I do want to advise you, for those that do not know, if we ever have any kind of severe weather, such as what we're dealing with with this winter storm potential, because I'm trying to put everything together as fast as I can, but I'm just advising you right now, regardless whatever kind of severe weather event it, it's going to be, uh, which is the way I'm going to plan it, is that I will be giving you a couple days notice before the actual potential for a severe storm or snowstorm or ice storm or blizzard or whatever you want to call it. I'll make sure that you guys have either two days advance notice, like a couple days before it happens, but the only problem of it is is that the GFS models change uh, every day. So it's going to be a tricky go as far as how that's all going to be planned out. But you specifically don't have to worry. I'll make sure that everything does work out, but I will be covering everything. So there's going to be a lot that we have to talk about, a lot of planning. So if you, if you do have the time, this is actually the time now to get all of the necessary supplies that you're going to need. The only reason why I'm saying this is because as of tomorrow morning, the uh, weather conditions are going to be extremely dangerous for driving. It is going to be dangerous travel. So I'm just advising you because tomorrow morning you don't want to be uh, going out. So as of tomorrow, only go out if you really have to go out. I would either wait until the worst of the storm is over uh, in the morning hours, or basically I'm going to say, uh, pretty much I'm going to say, this is beyond my control. I understand that we all have to work, we have jobs and things like that, but also if you are going to be traveling, just remember, use extreme precaution. Uh, Go go by the actual accurate speeds. You don't want to be driving fast and all that. You want to be really careful and pay attention to what you should be doing. Uh, you shouldn't be texting on your phone if you have to. Uh, if you got to talk to someone, do it on, uh, on speaker, uh, but not the opposite. Do, you don't want to be texting when you're driving on the phone, but if it's an emergency, uh, call somebody and use the speaker. That way, when you're driving, you can hear what they're saying. So however it works out, people, please, I care about everybody. I'm specifically worried about the situation, this weather situation that's going on, because uh, all of the Midwest uh, lit up like a Christmas tree, meaning uh, meaning that all we had tons of uh, warnings that just came up: blizzard warnings, uh, flood warnings, uh, winter storm warning watches, just about everything that you can think of. So we are trying to give you guys the heads up and prepare now for it, because when there's a winter storm watch, that's advising you that there will be the potential for a winter storm. So that's when you have to start planning out uh, how much time you have. So uh, I know I've got a few things that I got to uh, get from the grocery store, and that's going to happen today. I've already got somebody going out to pick that stuff up for me. I have an anonymous person that's going to pick up the stuff that I need from uh, the grocery store because as of tomorrow, I don't plan on leaving my house.
as of tomorrow. So please continue to stay with me. I'll have continuing coverage in the next half of our broadcast, and I'll see you within the next 15, 10 minutes, probably earlier. So stay tuned. I've got you all covered. Stay tuned with Storms Decoded, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. This is Eric Tolman, Storms Decoded, meteorologist. We'll be back after these few uh, short breaks. We'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> 